So this course is the comprehensive complete admin course on Salesforce. So first let's understand what is a CRM, right? So any application or any software or any tool that helps you automate or digitize marketing functions can be called a CRM, right? A CRM is nothing but a customer relationship management tool. As the name suggests, it's completely customer centric and it is a tool to increase profits and maximize revenues for customers. If you see the diagram on the right, you'll see that CRM covers most of the sales space, service space, and then marketing, financials, health, and all of it, right? So starting from sales side of it, covering the marketing campaigns and also giving you support and maintenance, all of it can be clubbed together in a single repository or a tool, and that tool is CRM. Now, is Salesforce a CRM? So we are talking about Salesforce here. The course is on Salesforce and we need to understand whether Salesforce is a CRM, right? Well, the answer is yes. Salesforce is in fact the number one CRM in the industry right now. And it's based on the two important aspects, which are cloud-based architecture or rather based on the cloud computing model and pay as you go model, wherein you have to purchase some licenses, pay for it, and you can scale according to your requirements. Now, what is this cloud-based architecture that we are discussing about? Or rather, what is cloud computing, right? So cloud computing is the transformation of storing data online rather than storing it offline in your local machines. Now, this technology has changed the way we store data, right? Because now you don't have to worry about storing things offline on your local machine, taking care of that network, that hardware. Everything is available online and you just need to access it with some credentials. Now, cloud computing offers different kind of models. The three key offerings that they provide is IAAS, that is infrastructure as a service, PAAS, platform as a service, and SAAS, software as a service. All right. So these three offerings, IS, PaaS, and SaaS, are something that cloud computing provides. And based on our requirements or business requirements, you can configure your setup. If you want completely if you, if you want everything to be handled by uh, your third party vendor, you can go for SaaS, right? You, you just have to, you know, uh, work on a software and everything will be controlled on the uh, on the platform side. If you have time to build applications and, you know, take care of the runtime network, you can go for PaaS. You can build platforms and you can build softwares uh, under it. If you also want to take care of network, hardware, storage and repositories, you know, operating systems and all of that, and, you know, take care of the virtualization technology, you can go for infrastructure as a service. Right. So based on the category your business rely, uh, depends on, based on the kind of uh, usage or resources or tools that you need for your business, you can avail for one of these cloud computing models. All right. Now, what is force.com? Now, force.com is a lot many times used interchangeably with salesforce.com, but that's not true. Force.com is actually the platform that provides Salesforce to be done and used by businesses. All right, so this force.com acts as the platform. Now, where does Salesforce stand in the cloud computing space? Now, in the cloud computing space, Salesforce comes under SaaS. So if, if I were to explain it in a simpler term, Salesforce.com is SaaS, that is software as a service, whereas force.com is PaaS, platform as a service. In, in simpler terms rather, force.com acts as the platform that provides Salesforce.com as a software to be run by businesses. And this software runs on a license-based subscription model. All right, cool. What are the advantages of Salesforce? Why should you be taking up this course? Why should you be taking up this technology? And why is this technology booming? And this, this domain is you know, uh, providing lots of careers and opportunities and everyone is moving into the CRM space and using Salesforce. Now, there are definitely many more advantages, but I've mentioned the top five advantages here. The first one, it is managed from a central location. Now, this central location is not uh, something that we know of. Where is it located actually? That means it's hosted remotely. That's the second advantage. So it's hosted remotely and it is managed from a central location. The third, the third advantage is it's easily accessible over the internet. You don't need anything. You don't need to download software. You don't need to do any kind of maintenance. You don't need to you know, go for support requests. You don't, want, you don't have to have any vendors you know, uh, communicating with you and training you every now and then. It's just that you need internet and, and some user user login credentials and, and there you go. You can start using Salesforce on your own machine. All right. The fourth example or the fourth advantage, I'm, I have no clue why I keep saying it example. So the fourth advantage is pay as you go model. 
Now this, this hints towards the scalability of Salesforce. Now, if today you are a five employee business, or you know, if you, if you are five people business, you just have five users in your uh, ecosystem, you, you can purchase five licenses. And if tomorrow, if you scale up to 500, you can purchase 500 licenses and you can still use the same platform and you can still use the same facilities that Salesforce provides. All right, so this pay as you go model or rather the license based subscription model is what makes Salesforce scalable. And then the fifth one is no installations are required. So you don't have to, you know, install any kind of software in your, in your machine, you know, take care of all the support maintenance requests, you know, all the patch builds and updates. Everything will be handled by the platform, which is force.com. And you can just build, build softwares inside salesforce.com and help your end users generate more and more revenue.